Hi, my name's Travis Hughes. I'm with H2Dig. I'm the managing executive. We're about 40 miles east of Little Rock. Here at Big Woods, what we're doing, it's a recreational development. We're taking 1,500 acres of all natural hardwoods. It's never been disturbed or flooded. And we are creating a wetland for waterfowl and for excess of hunting. With our levees and construction that we develop, we are keeping a modern approach where we can control our water levels throughout the entire property. The woods would hold water before, but it wasn't manageable. You can control the water level where you want it, and then come springtime, you can let the water out so you're not killing the trees when they come back in. They use various methods to get the water in from wellheads around the property for irrigation and also a reservoir that we have a pipeline connected to the woods to fill the compartments up. Time is so crucial for us on these kind of projects. Being that it is a wetland and you are in Arkansas and it's a very sandy gray clay that turns into a muck really fast. We're always in strategic places that are generally being in recreational development. We're in very rural areas, limited resources. You don't have a lot of options for finding service stations and things like that. The MTT 920 has really increased our efficiency, I would say close to two hours per operator, generally because you know they're not running back and forth for fuel. They're not carrying the one gallon jugs of death. The pneumatic grease gun and the air compressor in, in the trailer is probably one of the most undervalued assets. We can pull them straight up the side of these levees and through all the ditches and stuff like that and get to our equipment no matter where it is. Our equipment's never just on the edge of the field. It's always deep in the woods, so it's always an issue to get to. You know, pulling them off-road, a lot of things don't hold up out here off-road, especially with trailers, because you're always dragging them and everything like that. And so far with the Thunder Creek trailers, I've had no issues with them. The additional two hours that we gain every day by using the trailers, it equals out to about 300 yards a day, which over a week's time is 1,500 yards, which doesn't sound like much, but over a course of four weeks, you're at 6,000 additional yards. The MTT 920 is a wonderful stationary base that we set up whenever we get into the wetter months or after a rain. FST 750 with the off-road tires, we can take it anywhere. It's lightweight, it's very short. It's like a brother and sister package. One of the most important things with all the newer equipment, it's mandatory anything over 100 horsepower has a DEF system. With us having the diesel exhaust fluid tank in our trailer at 100 gallons, we no longer have the one gallon containers, so you cut back on a substantial amount of waste and your job site's a lot cleaner. It's just so much more convenient while you're doing two things at once. You're fueling your machine, you're also fueling your DEF. The trailer not requiring hazmats for our drivers and being able to send anyone to get fuel, you know, being in the rural area, a lot of times we have to go get our own fuel. As long as you have the valve closed on all eight compartments, it's fully legal to pull down the road at 920 gallons, and it pulls just as good full as it does empty. We don't have time for error. We don't have time for trucks breaking down to get fuel to machines. Having the Thunder Creek trailer, it's one of the most professional and user-friendly trailers on the market in my opinion.